is secure, despite suggestions that it will find it difficult to attract enough advertising to keep broadcasting. Good morning, it's nine minutes to eight, I'm Roger Day. The new station's name and garish style belie its rather lacklustre accommodation in a unit on a Redruth industrial estate. The station boasts its totally computer-controlled music choice, broadcast with the latest technology, will help win it a large audience. But despite having only four journalists, Pirates Management denies it'll be all music and froth. Local news information and service is very important, and it's important to our adult audience that we're trying to attract, which is really predominantly 25 to 54. But you've only got four journalists, so isn't your news output going to be pretty feeble? Well, I think, uh, again, if uh, people have heard the uh, first day's news output, I think they will be surprised. I think it's uh, not only not feeble, uh, I think, you know, we're, we're very proud of it. The Dutch's first local station, BBC Radio Cornwall, has over a decade of broadcasting established a huge audience of one in every two adults. It employs ten journalists and another ten broadcasters on speech-based programmes. Despite the new competition, Radio Cornwall will be sticking to the tested format. BBC is the only organisation that will provide a service that caters to Cornish requirements. Uh, commercial stations uh, are, are fine for commercials, but in terms of thorough news, features, feedback about the community and so on, then, then a BBC station is unmatchable, and we're going to continue to be unmatchable. It remains to be seen whether Pirate FM can attract an audience and whether after the first flush of enthusiasm it can continue to attract advertising in such difficult times. A second pollution incident has affected Stonehouse Creek in Florida.